It's Rick, Montana Outlaw Barbecue. Hey, today we're going to do a competition turkey. At a select contest throughout the country, we're starting to see more and more of these turkey classes sponsored by the National Turkey Federation. We actually did our first one in Washington, D.C. a few years ago and had a great time. And we're planning on doing it again this year at the Kansas City Royal. So it's exciting, it's new, it's something different. The rules are totally different, so it's a lot of fun. Okay, so the interesting thing about the turkey, it's actually a contest within a contest. It has its own set of rules. They supply the meat to you, so you don't really know what cut of turkey you're gonna get. Typically, it's a, a breast, sometimes a skinless, sometimes it's whole like this particular one. Sometimes it's drumsticks. I'm waiting to see wings someday, but they can do whatever they want to give you. And the rules are totally different than KCBS event, other events there. Uh, you can add things, you can have mashed potatoes, you can have sides, you can incorporate sausage, whatever you want to do, as long as the turkey is the main event of the, of the dish. So you want to make sure you highlight the turkey, and in your imagination is the king. I will caution you one thing. Our first contest, like I said, we were in Washington, D.C. We had no idea, we hadn't done it before. They just came to us, asked us to do it. So we cooked it like we normally did. We normally, how we're going to do it today. The guy next to us, who's also a very good cook, he, he showed us his sample and we taste it. It tastes like Thanksgiving dinner, it's delicious. Um, my point is, at that contest, we got a call and he didn't. So don't try to second guess the judges. Do what you do, do it well, and that's your best bet always in competition, bar, any kind of competition barbecue. So that's what we'll do today. We're gonna prepare that just like we would do any type of poultry dish, and we'll just prepare it the best we can. Today, we have a full breast, skin on. Now, you could take skin off, but my thought process on that, that's gonna help hold the moisture. We want a moist product. So if you do get an opportunity to cook one with skin on, I'd certainly recommend leaving the skin on. Okay, now I'm gonna inject it with butter just to give it more moisture inside the meat. As you recall, turkey is a favorite for all these TV shows lose weight because it's so lean, which is great about it. This is gonna be super moist, and this butter's, clarified butter is gonna give it a great flavor. And, and the skin will help hold that moisture in, so that's a double win right there. Same technique as any of other competition meats, like a one inch square injection. Working in and out as you're injecting. Get that butter distrib distributed throughout the protein. Now poultry, you cook to an internal temperature of 165, which is quite a bit lower than say our pork and our brisket. So this will cook very quickly, probably less than, I'll cook it 300 just like we cook our rest of our meats. And it should cook in about an hour and a half, maybe two at the most. This is a basic needle. We get them at the livestock supply or farm or ranch store. They're very inexpensive. Then we don't feel guilty about throwing them away after every use. So we don't, try, we don't clean them, we just use them once and throw them away. So now we'll season. We're just going to use our standard chicken rub, which is a little more savory than our other two, which would be perfect for a poultry dish. We use the rub just to give more flavor to the skin. Now you see it's because it kind of rubs off because the skin is kind of slippery, so we don't want to pat it in too much. We just want to put a crust on that skin, make that skin really a nice crispy skin. And, uh, and also the flavors will actually meld into the meat, so we're good. Pat it in here a little bit and put it on the smoker. Now it's been about an hour and a half. Let's check this turkey, it should be about done. Color looks great. The temperature is 57, so it's not quite there. It's about five degrees, 10 degrees off. 
We'll give it a few more minutes, but the color looks great. Give us another 20 minutes. All right, so here's our finished breast. So now you may want to hold on to this, these drippings. It's, you know, turkey juice, buttered. It can make great gravy. Kind of depends what your finished product is going to be. So that's what we'll do. I'm just going to set this aside for right now. I can tell by smelling it, it's, it is going to be good. So what we'll do is we'll splay it off the breast using our Montana block, cooking block that's got. It's awesome. You can just see how juicy it is. So we're going to be cutting this in slices. Uh, we'll be looking at different ways to prepare it. So now it's kind of up to our imagination how we want to present this. We can add stuffing, we can add gravy. You could glaze this with a barbecue sauce if you wanted to. You could take the skin off. I mean, there's one thing about this particular class, it's wide open. Let's take a little bite of this and see how it tastes. So we'll try a little bit. That skin is really crispy, really chewy, really good. I mean, this has really turned out well, guys. I think this is going to be exciting. Uh, now we just got to figure out how we're going to present it. And that is, you're limited only by your imagination. I think we're gonna do a sandwich with it, kind of a deluxe sandwich type thing, uh, maybe a popper. You can add any kind of seasoning you want. You can put sides, you can make some stuffing, you can make gravy. Your options are endless. So that's how you make a barbecue breast. So as always in any barbecue contest, you're looking for tenderness, juiciness, that's where your most points come from. You know, we want to thank the National Turkey Federation for opening up this new contest. It's exciting, it's new, it's different, we're all enjoying it. Uh, like I say, remember, barbecue is always about tenderness first. Thanks for coming today. Uh, this is another part of our series on competition barbecue. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we enjoy doing it. Have fun, keep your grills hot. And <laughs> Make sure you subscribe, like, and leave comments. Have a great day, guys.